What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Guys, how are we doing today? Um, today, we're going to go over what packs to pop in my team. Um, if you want to spam packs, what packs should you pop? There is a different packs in the game. We got four packs, and honestly, there's only one that I think is worth it, and I'm going to tell you why, but wow, there's so many packs in the game. I personally, I pop packs. I only pop one certain pack, didn't pop any others, and I'm going to show you guys why um, in a second. So in this video, we are actually going to maybe pop a pack of MC and VC. But let me go over it. So, guys, before we get into it, drop a like on the vid because if you guys if you guys hit 30 likes in the video, we will um, give away 10k to a random subscriber and a commenter. So make sure to comment, make sure to sub. Uh, we're gonna give away some MC. So let's get into it. So with these packs, we got Michael Jordan, John Havlicek as the best players. Yes, they are over 100k, but um, let's look at what else they get. What else we got? We got a Dave the Busher who's well under 10k. That's probably a common pull too. He's really stacked, but it's probably a really common pull and he's not that tall. Wilt Chamberlain, very common, probably under 10K already, probably under 8K already. Common pull, um, dirt, realistically, if you pull $100 of those packs, chances you pull Amethyst are pretty low. I mean, I've been pulling packs my whole life. I always never get the top tier card in packs, ever. I still have not pulled the Amethyst once this year. So yeah. Um, no Amethyst pulls this year. I think these packs are absolutely terrible just because they're so expensive. But you can pull him. You can pull LBJ Ruby, which in my opinion is an atrocious card. Um, let's check the stats. His three-point. He can't shoot for his life. He can't go post. His driving dunk's not even good. In my opinion, this card is absolutely terrible. His defense is trash. So then what's good about this LeBron, in my opinion? It's just the name LeBron James. This card's terrible. Um, it's going to be a common pull as well. Danny Ainge, this card's actually good. He has a, a 93 three-point shot. I only recommend, I, this is what I'm saying. So with that pack, yes, these cards are uh, decent. But like the only thing you can really pull that's good is these two cards right here. The chances you pull in those cards are probably, I would say, like 5%. So if you spend $100 on a game, you get... Let's say you spend, you get 450,000 VC. So you only get 10 packs for 135,000 and VC. Um, that deal is, there's no deal. I think you're getting absolutely scammed. Uh, like even if it can, it contains at least a guaranteed one, but what are the chances you literally pull to have a sec? Even, oh, yo, I pulled the Ruby. Wow. The Ruby's freaking 5k. It's not worth it. The packs are too expensive. In my opinion, if you don't pull an Amethyst, you pretty much make like only 40k MT off $100. It's not worth it whatsoever. So in my opinion, would I pop these packs? No, I would stay away from these packs. I think they're absolutely terrible. Do not pop these. Stay away from them. They're awful. Next up, we got these packs right here. These packs are also terrible. And let me tell you why. I've seen so many people pull these packs. And all they pulled was sapphires. They pulled, it says, okay, so this is, let me di like dissect this pack right quick. So the Premier League pack contains five players with a guaranteed sapphire or higher. Okay, so guaranteed sapphire or higher. It's not saying ruby or higher, it's not saying amethyst or higher, sapphire or higher. Sapphires are worthless in the game. If they give you freaking five sapphires, see, so, okay. So it's with a guaranteed sapphire or higher, they could still give you silvers, bronze, and golds. They're not saying that you could just get all sapphires or higher. It's just saying a guaranteed sapphire. It's not saying all five players, you know? It's just saying one player is guaranteed sapphire or higher. This pack right here is so ass. It's terrible. Don't pop this pack. And you get no contracts. In my opinion, you need, if you're popping packs, you need those contracts. Awful packs. Next pack. d way packs, bro. Um, You pull all these players in it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, let's go over pricing. Let's go over what you could get out of these packs. Uh, obviously, the amethysts are going to be higher, but let's check out the pricing on that. So, at least with the premium packs, the uh, multi-dimensional, these dudes right here, yes, they're very expensive. They're 100k over. So now let's go over here to the premium packs and let's go over this one. So we're actually almost done with the set. Now. I didn't even know. So when did I get this, Brian Gray? I don't even know. So um, this set right here. Let's check it out. So we got Carshmello Anthony. 
he is around 100k there's not a lot on the auction and i'm going to tell you guys to keep this card if you do have him because i think he will go up in overall there's not that many on the auction not a lot of people are buying packs so that with that said i believe Melo will go up i believe that this collection is not worth doing but at least these cards go for a lot but will i pop these packs probably not i really don't recommend them tim duncan's about 50k terrible 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 don't recommend it disgusting not worth it i do not like it um this these packs are absolutely eh the rubies are like 10k we got Allen iverson for about 10k so that's not bad or 8k whatever he, in my opinion he's this car's trash i play with them eddie jones is about 8k not a bad car to use do i recommend spending um that many that much on him not really you got anderson verja you don't have some ray allen Ray Allen, you can get his free Ruby card reward. So these packs, in my opinion, are terrible, and I'm gonna show you why. So D Wade packs right here, um, they're 10k. They're a lot cheaper than these packs, um, so that's good. But let's check out the box. So the box is 10k more. I mean 30k more, about 30k more, and you get uh, 10 more cards. So yes, I would rather pop the Z Wade packs than these packs. So all right, yeah, these packs are kind of cool. That's interesting, but. Here is the thing. There is one pack in this game right here. These packs are juiced. And I'm going to explain to you why. So this is what I'm saying. So ready? This pack guarantees you a spotlight player, right? So if it guarantees you a spotlight player and you're spending 9K and VC, let's say you spend 90K VC. That's 10 packs, okay? So, okay, no, no. Um, yes. 84K VC on 10 packs. So think about this. So you spend 84K VC on packs. Um, you get a guaranteed sapphire players if you do not get if you pull 10 packs Let's say you pull two rubies and the rest are emeralds or sapphires Sapphires and emeralds are about 1k. So 1k times 8. That's 8k um, Let's say you pull two rubies. All right, so you made 38k off 84,000 VC Which is the equivalent to about $25 Do I believe that is worth it? Not at all and I'm gonna tell you why because these league packs right here for a giant 20 pack bundle of about $30 It's actually less than $30. You get 20 packs now You get 20 packs Now not only do you get 20 packs these packs are fire and I'm gonna tell you why so what you can get out of these packs are first of all you have more amethyst in these packs second of all they're not guaranteeing you crap, which is perfect you know why because silvers in the game are that expensive. Silvers, if you pull sh Jack, all right, yeah, you have a chance of pulling a bronze, but if you pull Jack and you see a silver, you should throw a party because let's say you pull 20 of these packs, let's say five of them you get silvers. Silvers are at least 3K. So just off those those terrible packs, you get silvers, you're still making about 15 to 20K. You can pull silvers that are 10K. You can pull silvers that are 5K, 10K, 20K, 15K. So these packs right now have a lot of value. You just don't want to pull the bronze. You pull some sapphire cards like Luka Doncic, Brazingis, that's 5K. You pull some rubies, that's like 8K plus. You pull an amethyst, that's about 50, 60, 70 to 80 to 90K plus. And I'm going to show you why they're so valuable. So first of all, people are trying to complete all these collections. So you pull a silver right here, Mike Muscala. He's 9,500. Um, Terrence Ferguson. Let's see. Um, look at look at these prices, bro. This is what I'm saying. Um, good good cards to snipe. Very good part cards to pack. If you pack any of these dudes on the Thunder, bro, you're gonna make a ton of MT. Like, look at this. Andre Robertson bump silver, 15k. So with my if you're popping packs, bro, make sure you pop the league packs. I really recommend them. Also, dude, these these uh this Steph Curry's going for about 60k. We got LeBron going for about a 50. Got Giannis going for about 70. AD going for about 70. So guys, listen to me. I pop packs in the game. I recommend popping these. And honestly, guys, with that said, I'm gonna try to pop two of these. Maybe we can get something lucky. Um, let's pop two of these league packs, man. Wish me luck, guys. Let's see if we could pull something fire. Maybe we can pull my first amethyst of the year. And we get nothing. Two gold players that actually are going to go right into my collection. That's not bad. One more pack. 12K pack. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. I hope you guys dropped that sub and whatnot. I really hope for a silver. It's looking like we're going to get a silver. Double silver? All right. Frank Jackson. Let's check the price. Hopefully, he's expensive. I really pray he's expensive. Let's see. Please tell me he's an expensive card. Oh, my God. Of course, we get the cheapest silver. 
Of course. All right. 2,700, 2,900. All right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Um, those packs were busty, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more vids. We're probably on the stream today. Have a good one, guys. Peace.